Hey, thank you so much for joining me on this video cast of Hope I do every week. And I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit uh, today about this congregation. It's a congregation that lost all of its property uh, as uh, the uh, Acna Church took uh, its property away from them. Uh, and uh, they've been going along. And uh, the reason why this is a hope story, it's a resurrection story, and resurrection always brings with it hope. And this is exactly what this is. This congregation uh, believes in the work and ministry of the Episcopal Church. They've continued their worship, their outreach, their fellowship groups, their study groups, their prayer groups. They have continued, even though they've been in what we might call borrowed space for the time. But they have also cast a vision for the future of this congregation, for its property, its needs, its building, and they have undergone savings uh, to, uh, to rebuild. Now, we could get into the numbers of how much they've raised and all of that. That's not what is important, though we want to we wanna support them and salute them for that amazing work and give thanks to God for what God's doing there. But what gives me hope is the resurrection of a parish that others believe is dead. But there is life there, and God is bringing new life from it and is raising that congregation up to be a sign of God's hope in the world that it will, uh, that hope and that love, that resurrection will not be overcome in this place. And I, I am so grateful for their leadership, and I'm grateful for uh, the signs that they show me of hope. How could I not have uh, hope uh, in, uh, in this church, in the Episcopal Church, when we have congregations who are seeking the very best of doing what God invites us to do in the book of Hebrews, right? Which is to worship God with um, lips that proclaim his name, to share what we have, uh, and to do good work. And that's what this congregation is doing. It's a living out that passage from Hebrews, which is literally one of our offertory sentences in, in, in the Episcopal Church. So this week, uh, thanks for joining me. And I want to invite you to do a couple of things. Begin to think about your giving. Where might you give that you haven't given before? How can you help with ministries of hope in your own congregations, wherever they are, Episcopalian, non-Episcopalian, how can you not only show up and worship, be about the worshiping of God, but also where can you give resources to bring hope into the world and how might you do some good? It's great to see you. Thanks for joining this podcast. Uh, I look forward to talking with you again.